In a series of books titled The Art of Drawing, published by Search Press, Giovanni Savardi's Drawing Light and Shade, Understanding Chiaroscuro, discusses the application of this technique. Savardi says that chiaroscuro generally refers to the graduating tones from light to dark in a work of art and the artist's skill in using this technique to represent volume and mood. Essentially, artists use chiaroscuro to show the contrast between light and dark areas in a composition to suggest form in relation to a light source. The term chiaroscuro originated during the European Renaissance and artists developed the technique in various ways such as through composition, mood, and to show volume. For instance, chiaroscuro can be found in different kinds of art forms that include drawing, woodcuts, painting, photography, and in cinema. Within a compositional sense, Gierchen taught St. James's Nativity at Night is an example of establishing light sources within a painting. Ugo da Capari, Giovanni Baioni, and Caravaggio developed the use of an unseen light source as part of the composition in their work. Caravaggio is accredited with developing the style which became known as Tenebarism. This particular style stresses the intense contrast between light and dark, where darkness is in prominence. In drawing and sketching, artists use pencil, charcoal, paint, ink, or a computer to create the effect of volume by establishing one or more light sources. In drawing light and shade, understanding chiaroscuro, Siovardi effectively explains form and cast shadow with a light source. The penumbra line around the outer edge of the cast shadow where the darkness is less intense. The shadow line, form shadow, the penumbra, cast shadow, and shadow line from the shadow cast by the object onto a surrounding surface. Another element of chiaroscuro is the representation of reflected light within an object in order to express volume. Tonal values are an important element in portraying the overall effect of light and shade on a surface. In terms of pencil and ink drawings, artists use various forms of crosshatching in order to achieve gradation in tone. Within popular media, especially in the United States starting around the time of the golden age of comic books, Artists have used various techniques of expressing the difference between light and dark in their artwork. 